So here is another question on half wave rectifier. So it has been given that a half wave rectifier, it has a load of 3.5 kilo ohm, that is load resistance across which the diode is connected. And the diode resistance and secondary coil resistance, okay, the secondary winding, it has an additional resistance combined together, has a total value of 800 ohm. Okay, forward resistance of diode and secondary coil resistance together. And the input signal voltage across the secondary, it has a peak value of 240 volt, maximum value across the secondary winding. And it has been asked to calculate the peak, average and RMS value of the current flowing, the DC power output, the AC power input and the efficiency of the rectifier okay now first let us draw the diagram we have an AC supply whose value is not given okay then we have a primary winding a transformer with a primary winding then we have a secondary winding. No information has been given about the turns ratio. Then it has been given that the diode it has a forward resistance combined with the secondary coil resistance. It has a value of how much? 800 ohm and it is connected across a load resistance of 3.5 kilo okay and the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage that is equal to 2 40 volt this this is the information that we have now we have been asked to find the peak average and RMS value so we'll start with that first let us determine the peak value of current flowing I peak or I max this now we know that I max or I peak it flows when the voltage is maximum in this case the secondary winding voltage because that is what across which the diode is connected the diode is connected across the secondary winding that's why secondary winding voltage should be maximum which is equal to 240 volt and the formula for the maximum current or peak current is V secondary max by the total resistance which is the secondary winding resistance plus the forward resistance of the diode plus the load resistance this is the load resistance we have got the secondary winding voltage maximum value is 240 volt secondary winding resistance plus the forward resistance it has a value of RS plus RF it has a value of 800 ohm so that will keep here 800 ohm plus 3.5 kilo ohm load resistance that is 3500 ohm so it is 240 volt by 4300 ohms and that is equal to it will be 240 by 4300 which is equal to 0 0.05581 or 55.81 milliampere 55.81 milliampere that is the peak value or the maximum value of the current this then it has been asked to find the average value and the RMS value also now, average value is also called as the 
DC value IDC that is equal to I max by pi for half wave rectifier which is equal to 55.81 by pi which is equal to if we calculate it is coming around it is coming around uh, 17.77 milliampere okay 17.77 milliampere that is the average value or DC value then the RMS value which is also called as the AC value that is equal to I max or the maximum value of current divided by 2 okay always remember the formulas so same 55.81 milliampere divided by 2 which is equal to 27.905 milliampere 27.905 milliampere so we have got the average value or DC value and the RMS value the AC value okay next it has been asked to find the DC power output okay DC power output so DC power output if you remember the formula it is simply equal to IDC whole square that is I average whole square into RL only the load resistance comes into play here we have determined IDC here 17.77 milliampere so we'll convert into ampere to 10 to the power minus 3 into RL which is equal to 3.5 kilo ohm which is 3500 ohms that is equal to it is coming around Okay, it is coming around it is coming around 1.105 watt okay 1.105 watts that is the output DC then the AC input power okay the AC input power is equal to IRMS whole square into here the secondary resistance plus the forward resistance plus the load resistance all of it will, will come into play so here it is equal to IRMS we have calculated 27.905 milliampere into 10 to the power minus 3 converting it into amperes RS plus RF we have calculated as 800 plus RL which is 3500 ohm so it is equal to so it is coming around 3.348 watts 3.348 watts which is the AC power input okay so we have got that also the output DC power and the input AC power now we have to determine the efficiency of ripple uh, efficiency of the rectifier half wave rectifier This is equal to output DC PDC output divided by PAC 
input which is equal to 1.105 watts divided by 3.348 watts that is equal to 0 0.105 divided by 3.348 which is equal to it is coming around 33 percent 33 percent so it always around 40 percent it is there but in this case it is coming around 33 percent okay this so it is coming around 33 percent so here again uh, from the question we first gathered the data then all about these kind of questions is you know you have to remember the formula the basic formulas of the various parameters the maximum value of current the average value rms value then when the maximum value of current occurs then the formulas of different parameters such as efficiency of half wave rec uh, the rectifier form factor peak factor ripple factor the power the input AC power the output DC power so these formulas you have to remember and then it is all about putting the values and getting the answer and what values to put where that is also critical here okay if you put something else instead of a DC value you put AC value or instead of maximum value you put something else then the answer will be wrong so the critical thing it here is to remember the formulas understand the circuit operation carefully clearly and then you can get the result okay